Hello and welcome to Gameplay for All Seasons. Today we're going to be talking about Hogwarts Legacy. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And in this video, what I want to discuss is the, the must-haves, the things that the game really must do to make sure it lives up to at least some of the hype that's out there at the moment. So I'm going to go through the top five things, no particular order. So here we go. So Hogwarts Legacy, I assume anyone watching this video has probably heard about it, but if not, it's the big open world Harry Potter game that should be coming in autumn 2021. Now I say Harry Potter, Harry Potter isn't actually in it, um, but it is set in the Harry Potter universe um, in Hogwarts, as the title suggests. So I think the essence of this game has to be that you really do feel like you're a student at Hogwarts. And that you've got free choice as well. So the first four of my points all pick up on that. The first is friends and enemies. Now perhaps there will be particular characters which will be key to the story. You'll become friends with them or you'll become enemies with them. But I think in order to really feel like you've got that free choice and you're really there, you have to be able to form other friendships of your own choosing. The next is lessons. Now, lessons have to have a range of outcomes. If it's just you pass a lesson, or if you don't pass, you then fail and you have to try again, they wouldn't feel very real. I think you should reflect real life. You should be able to do well or not so well, and between that, have a big range. And those range and where you fall on that should have a consequence. For example, if you're a star pupil, perhaps the teacher likes you, and if you're not, perhaps the opposite. The next is the ability to free roam. And though areas will no doubt open up as the game progresses, I think you really do need a decent sized map that you can simply step away from the main story, you know, whether it's linear or slightly m more strands than you would call linear, but I think you need to really step away, do what you want. It's got to be interesting, it's got to have variety, and you know, a, a bunch of interesting side quests that again, you feel like you can control and have an impact on what else is happening in the school. Number four on my list is good versus evil. Now, you play many games where you literally, you're either good or you're evil. And I think with this game, really, you have to fall somewhere in the middle. So you shouldn't just be a pure evil, pure good. You should have that range. And again, I think the school should react to that range. You know, rather than just being really, everyone thinking you're amazing and, and the best, and then suddenly flipping to thinking you're absolutely evil. I think, yeah, you need that range. People need to be able to react to you in different ways to, to make you feel like what you're doing really does change people and has consequences on the action. And the final of my must-haves is that it shouldn't break the canon of the Harry Potter universe. Now, you know, we've got the Harry Potter books, we've got the films, we've got Fantastic Beast films as well. Now, if, you know, for example, Albus Dumbledore is around in 1860, maybe that's when the game is going to be set, although it's probably going to be a bit later. Really, that's that's not going to feel like you're part of the wider universe. It's going to feel like this is a separate story that doesn't quite fit in that well. So you have to really do the canon. Uh, and again, wherever the story takes you, it has to fit. So for example, you can't just decide that you're going to destroy the whole of Hogwarts as part of a quest. You know, that, that just wouldn't sit right with what's come before it. And again, would would disassociate you from that main story, which I think it has to keep with. So there we are, that's got to the end of my five must-have items for Hogwarts Legacy that I wanted to talk about today. Now, if you made it this far through the video, thanks very much for hanging around. Hit the like and subscribe. I'd love to hear any comments you've got on my list or any thoughts that you may have as well. Put them below. Thank you.